Hey everybody, we're doing a test. Uh, we're trying to stream on a on um, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I was able to get uh, running on. Wow, it looks like it is running on both. Okay, so uh, this is our first dual stream on Twitch and on YouTube at the same time. So today, what I'm going to do is just a test run with the MP153. This is uh, in preparation for streaming. I've, I've already started a quest that I was doing with um, Peacekeeper, Spa Tour. I started that and I was streaming to YouTube only, but now that I'm uh, set up to stream to Twitch and YouTube, I'm doing a test to make sure that everything works so that we don't lose any of the recordings and so I'm recording this on my PC streaming to YouTube and streaming to Twitch at the same time it looks like one of my monitors is dying over here on the left so I've got YouTube I've got Twitch and I'm gonna need two more monitors so I can put the maps up but right now it looks like we're uh, streaming on both okay so shoreline yeah we'll just go ahead and just do a practice run I'm gonna enable offline and we'll just see how this looks this is pretty exciting guys I mean this is my I did uh, um, a few minutes ago I did my first twitch broadcast and it's just titled testing testing so this is my second twitch broadcast it's just called escape from tarkov factory with a 153 shotgun i guess i guess i better change that to um shoreline Let's see how easy that is to change i'll update that All right. So, looks like we are running on both. This will be interesting trying to handle chat. I spelled streaming wrong. It says streaming. <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't know if I have time to fix that. All right, streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And see, I don't know how people find me on Twitch. I think this is it. I don't know. If that's the case, then I'll have to... Um, if, if you guys know how Twitch works, if you can try, click on that link I just sent you, Twitch TV forward slash Hectoplasm, and tell me tell me if that works. Uh, let's see. Like I said, this is a test. Is it working? I'm trying it in an incognito window to see what happens. I'm, I'm wondering how much bandwidth it takes to, um, I mean, it's already a challenge to just play the game. We had a little bit of lag with my internet connection, but um, interesting, there's an ad running. Escape from Tarkov, well, okay, well, it looks like it's there. So Twitch runs ads. I don't know how that works. I was making money on YouTube and they decided to change the rules last year and demonetize me. I had enough subscribers but they changed it um, so I needed to have more subscription or more uh, viewer hours. So we've got an extraction point at the tunnel. I think Road to Customs is over there. Pretty sure we're at the top of the map here. Top of the map being the northeast 
Yes. Alright, there's a gazebo over there. I could head over, up over the hill, for see if there's any scavs at the bunker. There is quite a bit of lag. I'm going to have to look into uh, up upgrading <laughs> my internet connection. Probably need to get a new router and some other gear. This is my first uh, gaming PC as well. It's an Asus, which both my laptops that I just got for work uh, are Asus, and they run amazing. I uh, wrote my second book on the Asus. I took it with me to Israel. Absolutely love it. I mean, added 100 pages to my book in, in a week. And that Asus was just so handy. It has a long, um, long battery life. It's lightweight. <laughs> the laptop I was using before I got the Asus laptop was heavy, man. In fact, um, my one of my new clients um, was telling me he was amazed at how how much I did with that old laptop. I mean, the laptop's over a decade old, and it's it's so old it doesn't even run the um, version of uh, Windows on it. It's it's runs Linux, and I uh, was using Open Office. Oh boy. Let's see, did I get hit? Nope. Make sure we're fully reloaded. We're gonna go around here. Now, there's no suppressor <laughs> on this shotgun and the slugs, you know, it makes a lot of noise, so these guys are going to be... Slow and steady. There we go. Oh boy, there's two of them. good. Let's get fully loaded. You got a problem because that guy can see me and I can't see him. The guy might be in the bunker there. This other guy was over here. Where is he? One on the bridge! Well, we got a little bit of lag, and it might be because we're broadcasting on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Pretty exciting. So I don't, I don't know um, if the quality is going to work for you guys. You got to let me know. Uh, it, will this work? Can I broadcast on both uh, Twitch and YouTube at the same time, or do I need to uh, broadcast on one and then the other? Uh, do you want me to broadcast live on Twitch, record, and then upload to YouTube? You guys got to let me know what you want. Because, um, you know, when I'm playing through the quest, once the quest is over, it's over, you know? It's not like I can go back and replay the quest. Now, in November, when the, the new uh, wipe comes, we're all starting over. So, that's interesting. So, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, was there too much lag? Uh, could you follow it? Uh, and then, of course, the next question is, should, if I have to choose one, would you rather watch me on Twitch or on YouTube? You guys got to let me know. So, let's see. I think I got some items sold here. Got to count out the Benjamins. Got to bring in those rubles, you know? Uh. All right, let's see, is 20 rounds going to be enough? I don't know, maybe I should bring some more, right? <laughs> 
Um, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, we could just bring a couple more rounds with me, right? Um, let's see, can this be repaired? No, looks like it got uh, chewed up a little bit. And um, if you were watching the last one, this um, faceplate got chewed up and I replaced it. It had three bullet holes in it. And I just bought a new one. Yeah, let's take this out. Give me a little more life. Okay, here we're going to do uh, another test. So for those of you just joining, I am uh, for the first time streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And I need you to let me know, would you rather, um, would you rather have me on Twitch or YouTube? Now I am trying to see, how do I get a message? To you guys. All right. Chat. Is this the chat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how the. Uh, not sure how the chat works over here yet. Broadcaster. Yeah, I don't know what a whisper is. Chat. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. So the chat on YouTube's pretty straightforward, you know? It says, welcome to the chat room. When I click on it, nothing happens. So <laughs> obviously I'm going to uh, have to watch a YouTube video on how this works. Search for people. Nope. Well, let's see. YouTube. Oh, is that the right address? Let's find out. Ah, okay. It's different. That's not it. Let's see, is uh, we back in the Twitch? Is this Twitch? I think so. Hmm. You know, I'm typing and nothing's happening. So not only do we have lag on the video, but the uh, the chat's not even it won't um it won't go okay so we've got that is streaming this is streaming is it streaming live Okay, we're down at the shoreline. It's kind of a dangerous spot to be. All right, here we go. There's been 
seen scabs pop up in there before. According to the scab location map, there could be a scab pop up right there any second. Yeah, this lag is pretty rough. I don't know if you guys see the lag, but oh, I see a scab over there. Let's see if we can get to him before he comes out. One, one, one in Suka. Come on, dude. Where are you? See if we can go for that headshot. Did he duck? Where is he? Oh, I got him. Yeah, baby. All right. Just take your shotgun. Search this too, right? Does he have slugs for me? Eh, he's got some other stuff though. So. Oh, yeah. Should probably do some medical treatment here just in case. Let's see, how's our health? We got one hit here. That's it. We're fully recovered. So far, so good. And it looks like we are streaming on both. Should have brought some water or juice, something. Now, we get into the, um, the pier, it's going to get pretty intense up there. expect to find so much loot in a police car trunk. <laughs> you guys are probably tired of hearing me say that. I, mean, I literally used to sell the police car trunk organizer. 
they had um, compartments for shotgun shells, slugs, grenades, tear gas, shotguns, machine guns, magazines, body armor, helmets. The uh, tire strips. Uh, there's this thing that they roll out on the road to make a roadblock. And they have spikes, spike strips. And, uh, you know, you don't want to get poked or cut by them, so you want them inside this compartment in the trunk. You want that stuff organized. When I get close, those guys might start shooting at me from the right. stamina to recover. Yeah, I heard him talking. A little scary right now. Because, I mean, he could be be over there, but typically they're going to be standing in the middle of the road. They're going to shoot at me from a great distance and I'm going to get blasted. hill here for cover. There's a guy running down the beach, another guy running up the parking lot. Fully loaded. We'll use this uh, transformer as cover. I don't know where he's going to come around. That's yeah, probably too far to run. Uh, Scavs can come down the hill any time there. Now well, there's a guy down on the beach. Fire. Stop reloading. Oh, I'm so beat up. That's pretty bad. I need to do five. He comes around this way. I'm a toast, man. He's coming through. I don't have time to heal up. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, guys, well, 
It says my stream summary is ready. That's new. Of course, I'm new to Twitch, so. I want to thank you, everybody, for tuning in for my very first uh, live Twitch and YouTube stream simulcast. And uh, so this will be a Right. I'll update that. Well, we got um, got three of them on that one. Again, everybody, I need your feedback. Let me know if uh, if you think there's too much lag in this, and if I do need to broadcast on one or the other, what, would you rather see me broadcast on Twitch and then? Um, upload the recordings to YouTube. I'm not sure if I can upload recordings to Twitch. So do you would you prefer if I had to choose one, would you prefer that I uh, upload to uh, Twitch or YouTube? And um, if you have been watching, let me know if there's too much lag or if it's good enough uh, just the way it is and we can just continue. I think I'll do one more um, one more jump in here. Just waiting on the uh, server. <laughs> so again, I want to thank everybody for um, joining me. Uh, let's try... I say shoreline. We'll do shoreline again, just one more time. And again, for those of you uh, just tuning in, this is my first time broadcasting on Twitch and uh, YouTube at the same time. So this is a simulcast or multi-stream as they call it. And so I'm broadcasting live through Twitch and YouTube gaming as at the same time. I'm playing uh, as Hectoplasm in uh, the game Escape from Tarkov. And uh, I've just been playing about six weeks. I'm a noob and uh, just hoping to pass on some tips uh, from what I've learned in the game. So far the feedback's been pretty good. started playing the game six weeks ago because my son had a break from school and uh, I just got my first gaming computer and um, we were playing online and it was fun so we um, I upgraded immediately to get the uh, larger pouch uh, just like most people I started with two by two then I upgraded to the um, three by three and I put uh, the WT rig in there because it takes up nine spaces and gives you ten and I keep a document case in there with uh, keys for the shoreline level and there's room for cash and um, I am doing the quest for Peacekeeper called Spa Tour and in that quest you have to kill 15 scavs using a 12 gauge shotgun and the only ones that count are headshots so it has to be headshots and so one of the challenges is getting close enough and so as you just saw on the shoreline actually at the beach where I just was, um, I couldn't really get close enough for headshots. I did manage to get three got three of them, but uh, I think depending on where we spawn in, I might head up to the resort because there's a better chance of being in close quarters and getting those headshots. So this is a hectoplasm. Uh, streaming live on Twitch and YouTube for the first time. I did one uh, test on Twitch um, about a half hour ago just to make sure that it worked. 
and then did the connections between the two so I have a multi stream going on right now but I'm noticing a little bit of lag so I need to hear from you guys feedback um, do do is it I mean is it fast enough Okay. All right. So, you know, there should be a scab just on the other side of this fence. encountered him last time but it kind of depends on what time they brought us in we're at right at the top of the hour at 59 or 60 seconds 60 minutes every time I see that I think it's a scav I haven't shot it yet so I'm pretty pretty excited about that Chabacula. <laughs> I might start actually learning a little bit of Russian. I know cheeky briki and uh Okay, I guess I don't know the other ones. <laughs> but I saw a fun cartoon that showed a mom uh yelling at her kid to learn Russian and handing him a disc and it was uh, Escape from Tarkov. So it was happy about that. We'll see if we can get up to the resort. If I am able to head directly north from the beach here, it should take me right up. Well, I'll go a little bit to the west. Uh, not too quickly, because I'll be exposed to the burning gas station and the four or five scavs over there. And in the open is dangerous. But um, now that I'm north of the gas station, I'll start to move west or leftward. And that'll take me to the water that leads up to the resort. I thought I heard a voice on the right over there. I don't want to get shot in the back. So the nice thing about the shoreline map is right down the middle, uh, going from north to south or south to north, is a body of water. It's like a stream or a creek or a river. I don't think it's wide enough to be a river, but it has enough flow, you could call it a river. I'd call it a creek or a stream. But um, it appears to run downhill from the center of the, the island, or the area, whatever the shoreline. It's like this mountain, so I don't know if it's like an underwater spring, but it's interesting. We have a situation in the Seattle area. There's a town called Kirkland and there's a hill the top of the hill is basically not not quite a mountain it's like a foothill but it's uh, quite a bit taller than this hill is and there's water that comes from the top but there's doesn't seem to be enough rain to keep this water running at the rate that it runs I've only seen it come down one side and this map, um, logically, there's not a big enough pond or lake at the top for the water to run down both sides. But it does run down both sides, so it's pretty, pretty fun. You have to suspend disbelief on that. But it's a video game, right? So we can get away with that. Now, 
if you go off that um, cliff edge too quickly, then you'll um, injure your legs. I'm trying to get to the water still. I see the spa on the right, and I am out in the open. This is a very dangerous exposed area where you can get sniped. But there is the spa up there. Resort spa. It's called it called different things on different maps. There's a bus terminal over there where we could encounter scavs, but they're out in the open again. Very difficult to get the headshot. So what I'm hoping to do is to scale the rocks over here. It's a bit of an opening. And get inside the structure as soon as possible. And go for room to room and in the hallway. Close quarters combat. Gonna listen. This brings me up right here. It's dangerous because I could um, encounter folks through the windows. They can see me. I know from being up here there's a break in the fence right before the helicopter, so that's what I'm going for. helicopter has a weapons case in the belly of it so if it's safe to go in there I will go for that Let's see if we can sometimes get a full-size weapon out of here that's got rounds in it not this time just a little bit of loot I use the um, document case now instead of a wallet. That looks like two shonka. You get um, three of those. Nope, I'm back. Never mind. Just provision, just something to sell for 300 rubles. It might be worth more than that, but um, is this Tushanka? Humpback, more humpback. <laughs> All right, so there's a case here to search. You gotta be careful because with your back turned to the window, this is a good time to get shot. And so, one of the things you wanna do is move any valuable items. Weapon uh, accessories are usually pretty valuable in comparison. Now, going to the theater is a dangerous open area. This gets me inside the building. This is where I'm going to have a better chance for uh, close quarters contact. Sometimes you can see somebody out the window. Often they will shoot at you. I've been shot at. I can't even see, a lot of times I can't even see who's shooting at me. that it is worth jumping over that. Hmm. I guess I can't get through there, so I was wrong. Yeah, I 
got cut up pretty badly. some noise. Surprised I lived. <laughs> uh, had to help the dog. Cheeky breachy. Maybe breaching, I'll get some folks to come. I just don't have that many keys yet. some stairs or a hole and head down. Let's see how this hydrates me. 75. Huh, it dehydrated me. Interesting. Okay. hydrated. All right, enough with the loot already. We are trying. Yeah, so that's one of the problems I have with the game, how difficult it is to climb over debris. It just doesn't, like, not very realistic. Shouldn't be that difficult.
so I didn't have to go over that barbed wire after all. These are all breach. Oh, there we go. I have a key for this one. Which room is this? Can't tell what room it is. But, uh, three something. G phones are worth a little bit. The bed sometimes, uh, I've heard sometimes things spawn on the beds, so I'm looking. Just in case. So that's where the bus terminal is. That might get somebody to come up. <laughs> I don't know. Can't tell if I got him or not. Huh. Well, did they run away or what? I mean, it's possible I got them, I just don't see any bodies. Okay. Looks like we're back to full health. Uh, whoever that was shooting at me must have just ran down the hall, huh? not like the scavs. I mean, normally they stay and fight. It's going to be a bit dangerous exposing your head. You get shot.
Whoa, mama. Let's see what to get rid of here. There we go. There's so much loot. You can see why so many people come up here. I use 15 points. Set. That is a big deal. Don't need crickets. I can get rid of those. That blood set is worth a bit of money. It's basically for transfusions. It's weapons cases. Should be a full-size gun here. Oh, this is nice. No ammo, but still nice. Okay, we're looking for some hand-to-hand -hand combat. We gotta find some targets here. Trying to draw some attention here. Generally, you wouldn't do that. Um, you just want to get your loot and get out. But I wanted to get some practice using the shotgun. I like the painkillers, those are good. And this is worth about the same, but in combat, the bandage is going to be more important. So there you go. And that's locked, so. That's another problem I have with this game. I should be able to jump out the window. You know, I'm on the ground floor. That should not be uh, difficult. Okay, well, I was hoping to get involved with some those quarters combat, but nothing happened. I'm full. Got so much loot. Really, it's just time to leave the uh, the board. So let's see. Extraction tunnel, pier boat. I mean, we might as well some cash from concessions. And look for some keys. This is called the band room. There's sometimes a key spawn on the chair right here. I have personally found it out oh, right here on this one. And the uh, 
to 16 key. I have also found this one. Personally. Oh. Sorry. Wrong. Wrong turn there. I have found this key as well. It spawns right there. And often there is stuff on the shelf over here. Screws and nuts, which I don't need. Alright, so we're just going to exfil now. Let's see. Tunnels that way. But I can go through the theater. remember from the last one there was a ton of guys over there at the bunker they might just start shooting there's a key spawn right on that box right there always looking for the keys sometimes it takes 10 20 times and you don't find it sometimes you find it in the first or second try you know oh I was just gonna say that I have had a guy up on top of that rock before. And I am shot up. I was able to snipe him with a, with a PSO 1 scope, but this is pretty tricky. I'm out of stamina. I need some medicine. That's a bandage for blood loss. Now we're doing treatment. I have to do pain meds next. I need to get to cover. Treat my wounds. Ah, uh, where is that bandage at? There it is. Fresh wound. Got to bandage the head. Hotkey always does it out of order. You want to treat your vitals first. And the hotkey is just stupid random. It does not uh, treat your head, stomach first. It just kind of does its own thing. Selwa. Now there's a box truck probably going to come up here. The guys there, I've got to take them out. The tunnel's down in the far corner. And it listed some others with question marks, but I'm just going to try to make a run for the tunnel. Follow the fence line around. We get to the double loot area, there's usually going to be a couple of scavs that pop in there anyway. So basically we hit the fence and turn left. Get some hydration going on here. Ah, I should have done 17, not 13, but that's okay. scav spawn map shows them popping up around here and I've I've gotten to kill them and they've killed me in this area I actually encountered a guy here as I, when I was a hatchling and so the double loot I think is right there that rock is the uh, key come on 
pistol is really what I'm looking for. Right there, baby. That was it. I don't even need to check that other one. I just I got two long guns and a pistol, and my bags are full. I don't need to be greedy. I got killed before because I was too greedy. I mean, my bags are full. I don't have to trade it out for the best stuff. Usually when I'm searching car trunks, I will leave them open if I take everything. And if I put something back, then I'll, if I have time, I'll close the trunk. So we'll be passing the uh, villa. The construction site is over there, and then we'll come up on the villa. So the construction site, the uh, luxury home with all the gun safes is over there. We really should come to this map offline and just figure out where that luxury house is, because I've had so much trouble with it. I actually need to do that myself, because <laughs> I came here offline just to learn the basic map, but I, I did not take the time to learn where the construction site and the luxury home is. I didn't know what it was when I first um, came here, and so I've been playing live. I have done a couple offline runs, but I have a uh, live enemy, so not a good time to search for the luxury home. Now, generally for me right now, on this level, I'm primarily looking for scavs for headshots. Let's see, I almost killed a tree again. It's hilarious. Um, primarily headshots of scavs. Second... <laughs> Secondary, I'm looking for keys, because there are so many keys on this uh, map. And there's a link in the description with the um, key map. And for my Twitch followers, it's, I don't have the description in there yet. I will add it if I don't know how many words I'm limited to. But I will add a link to the different maps that I use for the shoreline. There's... Uh, one map that I use that I really like because the details of the power lines and the roads are very well done. And then there's another map that I use that marks the keys, where the potential key spawns are. And then a different map that shows the uh, likely scav spawn locations. So we're coming up on that what's known as the Svetli Dead End, and the villa or village. The village or villa is there. And if I wanted to, I could go to the two uh, grocery store. Well, the grocery store and the gas station. Well, I call it a gas station, but I didn't see any pumps. So it's like two little retail stores. I don't know if either one of them is a grocery store. But uh, the Svetli Dead End, uh, just to the left of that, the Dead End is right there. That's one of the extraction areas. But the scavs usually show up just to the left there. So we might have a chance to encounter. If we do not, then we'll continue straight. So if you want it out easy, you could go that way. I'm going to take the hard way. Possibly encounter some scavs. Sometimes they're in here. And they shoot at you. If I can get... Okay. I hear them. I don't see him, but I hear him. Where's that scab at? All right, let's reload. I hear another one coming. I'm gonna go in the back room here. He might be inside. I might be able to get him through the window. He might shoot at me through the window. <laughs> okay, I hear him. Sounds like he's on the right there. Sounds like he's coming in a 
door. Is it coming in the back door? Ah, there we go. Good job. All right. Now there's a crate there you could search, but my loot's full. There's a house, uh, a key spawn back there. Also a spawn right here for keys, which I don't need. I just need to survive down to the tunnel here. For my brand new Twitch followers, I want to thank you guys. This is my first simulcast of Twitch and YouTube live at the same time. I want to thank you. I'm using OBS uh, software to broadcast, which was I downloaded for free. And um, I'm using a multi-stream website called Restream, I think it is. What is that called? Multi-stream platform. It's called Restream.io. And it is uh, st multi streaming. Uh, my YouTube is primary, and then it restreams to Twitch. And let me see if I can get you guys the. Um, I don't know if there's a limit on how many characters I can put in the. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for a place like on the YouTube, there's a. Description. I see. Category. Learn more. I don't know. Is this? All right, guys. So let's see what we just we only got two of them. But, but you know, we had to get out of that spa resort and come and find uh, more. So there we go. I want to thank you guys. I'm gonna um, quickly see if I can copy these maps and things. And also my standard loadout. Let's see how much of this I can copy into Twitch. Copy, paste. <laughs> Doesn't like it. Um, I don't know if there's a certain place for uh, description. Nope. Yeah, see, it's there's a character limit. Yeah, it's got limits. And that's the title. Tags. Yeah, I don't see a place to put description. So I would, ideally, I would put. Um, I would give you guys links. So you're gonna have to go to my YouTube channel and find the links to all the maps and sorry until I figure out how this works so maybe maybe I can copy it one section at a time we'll see so here's my standard loadout Let's see if it'll let me do that nope <laughs> it's yeah, it's not letting me do that. Sorry, guys. I um, It says my loadout is too much. So maybe I can... Can I do a map? There's one map. I'll try to do these other maybe three maps. Just do a little bit more. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. This is uh, my first simulcast on Twitch and uh, YouTube. The very first Twitch broadcast I did was uh, just called Testing. And so this is actually my second Twitch broadcast, and it's simulcasting on YouTube at the same time. So for those of you watching, if you could message me either on Twitch or YouTube and let me know, would you rather watch me on YouTube or would you rather watch it on Twitch? Um, do you think I should stream just to Twitch and then send the upload to YouTube, or should I... Do it the other way around. I don't know if I can do it the other way around. I know I can send recordings later. 
Um, so I'm just trying to give you the rest of these links because it wouldn't let me do the description. So I'm actually putting all of this into the chat, guys. So you've got links to the maps that I use. Uh, I have a Facebook page for Hectoplasm where once we have uh, streaming schedules, we will put those up there. And also um, hectoplasm.com will have the schedules as well. So for now, it's um, just uh, Escape from Tarkov, but I just um, start just played uh, Minecraft for the first time three days ago. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know. Also, I have been playing CSGO uh, like three months ago. I started playing for that for the first time and enjoyed it as well. So let me know if you want me to stream any of those as well. All right, guys, let me show you quickly my... Um, my loadout for this uh, quest is the MP53, and I buy it. Um, if it has a pistol grip, I buy the stock. Um, I like to add this uh, rail mount and a reflex sight, and then an eight round magazine. And if you look at this, you'll see the eight round magazine. It won't let me show you here, but I can put it over here. Eight round magazine, um, and then the reflex sight. And then this uh, body armor is standard for me. 75 points. Uh, you can buy them for anywhere from, uh, you can buy them you know, for 40,000 and then do repairs on them. Uh, this one, very often you can buy this and the face mask is broken and you just have to buy a new one and then it goes back up to 75 points. And then I use the slugs. Uh, that was recommended by some of the other streamers, so I went with that. Um, I like the Selwa kits. I also use the Grizzly kits a lot, um, but for this particular one, I'm, I'm using multi-cheese uh, medical kits. I always carry splints because if you get a fracture and you can't walk, you're stuck. And then pain meds. And then I put this WT rig in here, and I'm using now a document case because you can carry cash and uh, keys in there. Thanks again, everybody. This is uh, Hectoplasm playing Escape from Tarkov, and uh, I want to thank you for joining me on Twitch and YouTube. Have a great day.